Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on the part of the world where we are today. Thank you for joining us for the part two of your what, a treasure or a trash. I believe from the part one, we've learned one or two things and today we'll be continuing in the second part. Be blessed as you join us in Jesus name. Let's say a word of prayer before we go ahead. Father in Jesus name, we thank you for the grace you have given us to come to your presence, to learn at your feet once again. We pray, Father, even as we go ahead today, that you expose yourself to us, Lord. Father, Lord, we pray that you open the, our hearts to be able to receive from you directly and make us also the doer of your word in Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And like you said, we have to be think deeply before we say anything. Yeah. We come and think deeply. And we should learn to analyze our situation and ourselves. Many times when we are in very, very um, confusing or dicey situation, just take time to calm down. We don't need to respond immediately the person has said that to us. We should calm down, explore other options before yeah. we speak in before such a way. Such a mm. yeah. And First Corinthians 9.27 says, But I discipline my body and bring it into subjection, lest when I have preached to others, I myself should become disqualified. So, and... Part of our body is our mouth. To our mouth. So discipline is very, very important if we are going to, if you are going to um, make sure that our words are treasured Every aspect and not trash. Mm. Discipline, including mm. our words. Mm. That's true. Mm. There, there is a quote I came across today. It says by Roy T. Bennett, a smart person knows what to say. A wise person knows whether to say it or not. Yeah. Very, very true. A smart person knows what to say. But a wise person knows whether you say it now or, or not. Mm. That you are quiet doesn't make you a fool or lesser mm. human being. It's mm. just that you are be quite silence at times demonstrates wisdom. Mm. Your very ability true. to act but just to refrain yourself. Mm. So learn how to refrain. Mm. I've learned something in a hard way. Each time I'm, I'm not too okay with a thing and I speak. I, I end up apologizing. Mm. So why would I get hot and still apologize? Why not just why not, <laughs> <laughs> why not just keep, keep, keep quiet? <laughs> so whenever somebody offends me, I just keep quiet and go my way. I realize that it pays more for me. And it's in the scriptures. You see, so it's trying to prove your right all the time is a sign of pride. Mm. You see, mm. so why would you be hot and still be a victim of pride again? Mm. So it's, it's very important that you understand when and how to speak mm. and like you said it's very very important for us to know that words have a ripple effect you can't yeah. recall it back so we should be careful we should think of the aftermath of our words yeah. your word is an action and it can generate ripples of reaction you know series of actions and reaction that may be more than what even caused you to speak your words in the first place yeah. So whatever you have to say, be very careful. Like somebody said, say, if you sleep, you can regain your balance. But if you have sleep of the tongue, you cannot recall your words. Your and words are gone. They are gone. And an adage in my, in my um, tribe says, word is like an egg. If it's broken, it's yeah. broken. You can't, mean it you can't pack it back. Mm -hmm. There is no way to do that. Even if you try to put it back, it's, it's going to have some stain. It's going to have one thing or the other. So as long as the egg is broken, it's broken. As long as we speak it out, it's out. So we should be careful so that at the end of the day, we speak the right words. We are not moved by our emotions. We are not moved by circumstances around that will cause us to speak the wrong words and cause um, trouble in the life of another person. So by so by and large, I think there are there are two things that I would love to to put on the table for us. Number mm. one, work on the state of your mind. Mm. Then number two, learn discipline. Mm. Work true. on the state of your mind. The mm. Bible says, "Out of it are the issues of life." Mm. Then it says, "Be transformed how by the renewing, renewing of, of your, your mind." mind. Yeah. You see, then learn discipline. Mm. James. The, Jim put said, said, learn how to bridle your tongue. Mm, yeah. If it, anybody that doesn't understand or act in a disciplined way mm. will soon come to a room, give it, give it time, That's including true. tongues. 
There are times even you know what to say, you know the right answer, you just chose not to say anything. Mm. It's not that you are being wicked, it's just that what you say can have effect. Mm. Look at look at Jesus Christ. He was caught the woman was the one the woman was caught in out of adultery. Mm. The Bible says in the very act. Mm. They said more uh, Jesus the teacher. Mm -hmm. This woman, this and this, what do you say? The law of Moses told us to stone. The law of Moses <laughs> says stone. Romans says don't kill. So if he stone, mm. the Romans will, will arrest him. Mm -hmm. If he doesn't stone, they will say it's, it's to be yes, Mosaic law. Yeah, you're breaking the law. So that time, whatever you do, you are on the wrong side. Mm -hmm. The best thing is, is to pray. And he began to write quietly mm. on the floor. Mm. They begin to speak. and You see, the wisdom came from silence. Mm. In fact, the Bible says in, in the book of Proverbs, it says, no, in the book of Isaiah, pardon me. It says, in quietness and rest, mm. light your strength. Mm. So, at times when what you say or what you don't say becomes a trouble, mm. silence is the answer. So, two things. Understand the act of discipline mm. and walk on the state of your mind. Very true. Someone said, wise people are not always silent, but they know when to be. They are not always silent. They are not always silent, but they know when mm. to be silent. When it is important to be silent. When to open up and when to shut when to, up. Yes, very, mm. very true. And like like I said earlier, before you speak the word, taste the word. Like, think about it. Put yourself as a recipient of such word. How will such word make you feel? Secondly, if you can you put the word as a play card on your chest and go around with it? Like, okay, this is the kind of word I said to this person. Because unfortunately, like you said, social media has made it so easy for people to be faceless and cowards and speak a lot of bad words to people. You know, you just try to pull people down, which is not right as a child of God. Even if others are doing it, don't do it. When you like such fact, posts. As a matter of fact, that's an abuse of social media. Mm, mm, so the social mm, media, something mm, that when you, when you get engaged with, you, you feel... Like you are in a community of like minds, mm. not abusing and trashing people down. Even That's even true. even if they do wrong, trashing them down is not the answer. Mm. Simply correct in a constructive manner. Wow. May God help us in Jesus' name. That's true. Because whatever we do, even if that person cannot see you, the Bible says we have a God that sees all mm -hmm. things, that knows all things. And God is going to reward you of what you have done. Yes. Every word. The Bible yeah, says every word. every word and every thought. We're going to be judged for them. So those words you've spoken were on the judgment day. Will you be happy mm -hmm. to be judged for such words? Such words. Mm. Mm. Very, very important. And like that place where you said, James chapter 2, 3 verse 2 to 12. Verse 2 says, for we all stumble in many things. If anyone does not stumble in word, he is a perfect man, able also to bridle the whole body. So if you don't sin in words, it means you are a perfect person. So that's to tell us that to avoid sinning in words, take a lot, a lot of energy, a yeah. lot of focus, a lot of decisiveness. Mm -hmm. And it requires the help of the Holy Spirit because I believe that no man can live without sinning with their words. No man by their own strength. Hmm. By their own strength. We can't no do it. Except the Holy Spirit mm. helps you. Mm. Except the Holy Spirit helps. And like the example you gave as well. I believe we have biblical examples of people that even under duress were still able to bridle their tongue. We have Stephen. Job is a very good example that comes mm. to mind. Mm. Imagine a man lost Everything mm -hmm. in one day, mm -hmm. all his children, all his business, all his reserve, mm -hmm. poof, one day. Mm -hmm. And the Bible says, even in this, he did not sin against God. Mm -hmm. He has so much mastered the way he speak so well that the Bible says, each time his children do party, mm -hmm. he will offer, like I said, perhaps they have sinned against, they have sin against God. Mm -hmm. He understood to the act of the act that words can do. Mm. So, in case my children are in, in, the, in the heat of the enjoyment that has spoken mm. rash words against God, sacrifice. Mm. You see, so 
we need to be very careful on how to there are there's, there's somebody a funny story in the scripture i think it's in the book of second Samuel chapter one that was when saul died and David was to hear the news of Saul. Hmm. There was one Amalekite that I came. came to lie. There was one that came. He thought <laughs> telling David that ah, Saul is dead. Oh my God. He thought that would grant him an, hmm. a kind of a favor. Yeah. He lied with his mouth, and he died because of hmm. it. And David said, "Your blood is on, on your, your head." head. Mm. You see, so we need to be very careful of, of what we say. Hmm. Many of us, as I'm very unfortunately on social media, many people just say things just to attract crowds mm, mm. because they want to be popular, highest mm, followers. Mm. That is not the aim of social media, and that's not the aim of your world because mm. though they might follow you truly, mm. but the Lord that you have violated his law is still going to follow you too. Mm. And I believe you and I know what the answer will be. Mm. So why not just avoid it and do the right thing? Mm. By controlling your mouth, controlling your heart, be mm. disciplined with what to say. Mm. God will help us in Jesus' name. So controlling our heart, making sure your heart, you guard your heart with all diligence. With all because diligence out of it flows the issues, issues of, of life. life. Make sure you allow the Holy Spirit to lead us. Because many times the Holy Spirit is talking to you. You know, it has happened to me so many times. The Holy Spirit is telling you, keep quiet. Or the Holy Spirit is telling you, just walk away and you're saying, ah, ah. <clears throat> Holy Spirit, it has gotten to the peak now. I must let this person know I can speak. No, 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 no. And then after you speak, then you're in trouble. You're in yeah. trouble. And then you have to go back and apologize. That's the point that he... That is the most humiliating part. You apologize to the fellow, apologize to the Holy Spirit. Oh my God. You know, you lose at, at, at a good end. Yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> and and that's why the Holy Spirit, God also made um the provision for, for our mouth to be controlled. He gave us self-control as part of the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Mm. When we are able to control ourselves in every aspect, like the Bible says, that is the kind of man mm. that can be seen that can, that can be as, as perfect. perfect. Yeah, as because perfect. You, can, you can control mm. your mouth. Because your mouth represents you everywhere. Mm. What you say is very, very important. And, and the truth about it is that I believe some people also have some um, psychological issues, like anger issues. And apart from seeking the help of the Holy Spirit, you might need to seek professional help on how to deal with anger. Because some people, especially maybe from childhood trauma or some things that have happened that they've not dealt with, you have this kind of anger within you that just makes you go overboard when little things is done to you, you know? And they really need to seek um, professional help. Yes, even if you realize that you, you, you talk too much, mm. you can seek professional help. Mm. There, there, there are psychologists that they mm. can... They can that's their specialty. They mm. assess. They assess you, what and mean? they understand mm. what and what you should do, what you shouldn't do. When mm. I was young, I used to be very, very volatile, mm. very volatile. You touch me, I bite you straight. Mm. I don't even think twice. But by and large, I realized that studying, studying the scriptures helped me a great deal. I saw examples of those that were volatile in the scriptures and though God had to calm them down mm. with that are gentle and the slip of tongue crash them. Mm. Then I realized that why and with some personal pitfall that I felt to especially with with my wife here, <laughs> that <laughs> it time things are not really rosy the way I expect and they begin to show up the man in the house. I remember one particular one. You know, I, I just told her off as usual and she calmly went to the bedroom. I was in the sitting room watching TV. Immediately I had instruction. Stand up there. Go and apologize. To now I'm the man of the house who just told my wife off, being being the boss. <laughs> now to go back and say you are sorry. Imagine it's kinda of, kind of humiliating, you know. But I know who myself, I know the voice, I know what it meant. I had to go and I was moving up and down in front of finding in the bedroom because I didn't even know how to form the word. You know? <laughs> Get out, yeah. Now I'm I'm so sorry. I'm so ish. Since that day, ish, I will think twice before I say something because I don't want to go back and say I'm sorry again. Mm. So many of us have learned in a hard way. But the funniest thing is we refuse to let that treasure of the of the knowledge mm. guide our mouth again. Mm. 
day. Bible is telling us on that day, every word that you say, God mm. will judge it. Mm. I don't want to be judged by a word that I, I even forgot that I said. Mm. You see? So, true. this topic is very vital to us. Mm. It's very vital, not only as Christians, but as, but as, as, an, as an individual. Mm. May God help us in Jesus' name. Amen. And it's very important that we, sh we should stop giving excuses. When we hold people with our words. You are wrong, you are wrong. Mm. Apologize That's my temperament. That's my family uh -uh. trait. That's how I've been brought up and everything. Because that's some of the things people just um, focus on. Yeah. Mm. yeah. It's not It's not right. There's there's no trait that can you cannot unlearn. Mm. You, you, must have, you, must, you must have an ability to unlearn. Mm. Learn, unlearn, and, and relearn. relearn. Mm. Yes. Mm. There are some things that I did I, I did not grow up with as a man in the house. I did not grow. I had to learn it outside. Mm. You see, and any man that that does apt to learn, that's a man that will be a without that that be without limit. Mm. The man to say this is this how I do my things. This is how this this is my world. Mm. This is my niche. Mm. You have you've already built a fence around you. You can't grow beyond that. Mm. You can learn from anything so long it is relevant to the purpose of God in your life. Mm, so true. if you are wrong, you it doesn't change. In the, now they said if you prostrate, prostrate for a dwarf, that doesn't make you shorter. <laughs> yeah. So if, I, I'm very sorry, I am wrong. Please pardon me. Yeah, in fact, true. at that time it might not be sweet to say, mm. but later on people will respect you for that. This that's one. True. Whenever he's wrong, he apologizes. Mm, mm. And that's a regard on his it. own. Yes. You accept it and you just apologize. Speech mm. also depicts responsibility. Mm. So if you speak and you don't you want to retract it, you are irresponsible. Mm. Adam, why did you do this? It's my wife, Eve. Mm. He shifted the cause to Eve. The blame, yeah. He shifted the leadership. To Eve, mm. she said, "It cost leadership is responsibility, mm, and it is exemplified by what to say also." Mm. Eve, what did you do? It is it will mm. happen. Mm, that's true. You see, so be very careful. So, mm. any time you want to say things, and you remember that, hey, supposing I'm arrested with this word now, mm. will I will, will, I, will I be able to stand with my chest out? No, then you will draw it. It's mm. not good enough for mm. you. That's true. God will help us. And we need to know that words are actually powerful. Yeah. And many of us have committed several murder. It's not only to kill a person. Hmm. Sometimes we've killed hopes, we've killed dreams. We've killed so many. The, the future of some people, we've killed it. Hmm. We've killed some people's self-esteem. You know, so many people that commit suicide sometimes, if you trace it, it's because of what someone has said to them. You know? So many students that have been bullied, there are several bad words spoken to them. And so many of these children come from homes where words are not being said right. So they believe it's the right way to say words. You see someone, you just say any words to them. And it's, 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 so, it's so very, it's, it's not good. Because many of us just, we, we say words unfiltered, unyielded, unhindered. We allow our mouth to run. And we just leave it at that. That's how I feel. I, mm. I must, I must express how whatever mm. I feel. You don't have to express your feeling. Mm. It's your feeling, not our feeling. Mm. So if it's your feeling, keep it to yourself. Mm. If you feel we should know, there's a constructive way of making us know. That's true. You see, you don't just say the way as hot as it is. Let me just give it to them, mm. and you give it to them, and the world becomes a trouble. You can't mm. say I'm sorry again. Mm. Many of us are are victim of such hot words, mm. and the bad thing about it that we still do this thing to people. To another also. person, no. so it's like a ripple effect. Yeah, ripple effect. Mm. And the emotions can change. The feelings can change eventually. E eventually, that will not change. Can your words that you've spoken can it change? Because the word sometimes cause irreparable damage, mm. permanent damage to the other person, even if you don't intend to. And that's why we should be careful. Mm. In conclusion, I just want us to know that we should speak words of understanding. Before we speak, we should ask ourselves, mm. what kind of word am I speaking? Is it words of understanding? What, what that shows empathy, sympathy? Is it words that shows love? You know, is it words that lift people up? Is it words that, that are directed by the Holy Spirit? Mm. Or is it words that is pushed by hatred, that is pushed by, like my husband said, you need to know my feeling. I'm feeling hot like right now, I must hurt you in return. 
you know is it a war that is trying to pull people down mm -hmm. as children of god we should be careful the kind of words we speak because others can do it we cannot because we are expected to be different we are standard yes yeah. we are standard you know many children many spouses employees employers even our nation today is suffering from the evil that we pronounce with our mouth yeah with our mouth like because like i mm. said earlier our, our 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 words have constructive power mm. whatever you say when i was young i remember clearly as far back as 1985 the each time we are playing i we and the other, i always play the part of a doctor mm. i would take a broomstick i say let's as let's assume you are sick so each time they ask me questions I'm telling them I'm going to be a doctor. Mm. I'm going to be wearing white. I'm going to be healing people, taking taking care of them. Mm. And how many years after here I am today? Mm. I remember a story of that. Each time they beat the guy, he didn't go. To, he would tell them, "I don't want to go to school. Mm. I want to push truck. Mm. Ah, go to school. I'm not going to school. I will push truck for me in my life mm. till today. That man is pushing truck." Mm. Others went to school, became something in life with them. Mm. It is what you say. Mm. That's why I said, guard your heart. Yeah. Guard, know how, know what goes into your mind. Mm. God help us. Amen. God help us. Mm. Let's just take some time to pray. Um, prayer of repentance and forgiveness. In any ways, we've used our words wrongly. And let's ask the Lord to forgive us in the name of Jesus. Father, we ask today, Lord, in any way we've used our words wrongly, either for ourselves, sometimes some people speak words against themselves. They believe their life will not be good. They believe their home will not be good. You know, even words that we've spoken, even to ourselves personally, that are working against us. Let's ask today, Father, forgive us in the name of Jesus. In any way we put ourselves into bondage with our words, Lord, we come to your throne of mercy today we ask for mercy father we ask for mercy in the name of jesus father show us your mercy in the name of jesus show us mercy in the name of jesus father we ask for forgiveness in any way we use our wrongs wrongly in any way we put ourselves into bondage with our words we ask lord for forgiveness father forgive us in jesus name oh lord forgive us in jesus name amen amen let's ask for the grace and strength to always speak words of grace in Jesus' name. Father, we ask, Lord, for the grace. We ask for the strength to always speak words of grace, to speak the right words at every time. Father, grant unto us in the name of Jesus. Father, grant unto us in the name of Jesus. Father, grant unto us in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for you've done it. In Jesus' name we've prayed. Thank you, everyone, for joining us once again. If you have any other suggestions on how we can ensure that our words are treasure and not trash you can put it in the comment section and please don't forget to like to share to comment and to subscribe to my channel god bless you see you next time bye, bye.